What's up, taters? This is Tree from TreeOfLogic.com, and welcome to our episode called No Sh Sherlock. We all knew this was going to come, right? We knew this would happen. <laughs> I don't even think we needed this article to confirm something. We all knew. I called it, you all called it in the comments section. We know what's up. Because anytime you see something like this, if it was done by anybody white, oh my God, we, it would have been plastered all over Twitter, all over Facebook, all over the social media platforms, and it would have been riots in Europe as well as America. Thomas, um, oh, defund the police, I can't breathe, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we knew this was the case, you know what I'm saying? When they wasn't making a big deal out of it, <laughs> they, they knew who did it, okay? Or should I say, they knew who didn't do it. Anyway, BLM activist Sasha Johnson was shot in garden by four black men, police say. By the way, this is a European thing in garden. Whenever you hear, whenever you see something like, oh, I was in the garden or we were drinking at the garden, they're talking about like a backyard or a big uh, area uh, outside, okay? So they call those areas a garden. In this case, they were having a party, a house party, but it was out in the backyard of that house close to three o'clock in the morning. Can you imagine living near these people and they're having a party on a Sunday night knowing you got to go to work the next day and they out there partying and getting their party on and at like uh 2 50 ish in the morning in the morning now I understand why people you now you get why we don't want to live like you know people like me don't want to live around people like this okay white flight i totally get you i totally understand i don't blame you one bit Black Lives Matter activist Sasha Johnson was shot in garden after four black males dressed in dark clothing discharged a firearm police have said. The mother of two remains in the hospital after she was hit in the head by a stray bullet at a party in South London. Scotland Yard stressed that her involvement with the anti-racism movement is not believed to be linked. Well, we don't know that now, do we? <laughs> See, here's the deal. Why is it that when the people who shot her are black, you're going to give them the benefit of the doubt? But oh boy, let them be white and you'll call them all kinds of istinphobes and isms, okay? You know you would. So it's okay to give black folks the benefit of the doubt but when white people you automatically make assumption that it was done for uh, another reason okay we, we we get it so you see what i'm talking about here do you see how they play this game you and i must call this out every time we see it all right in a statement, the Met Police confirmed that Miss Johnson had been at a house party in Concert Road with four men, when four men broke into the garden through a side gate. A fight ensued where a man in his 20s suffered a knife wound. Oh my goodness, they got a knife problem over there? Hmm, by the way, how do you guys have a gun problem and uh, you all have huge gun control? Hmm? It's just amazing how these uh, liberals and Democrats are constantly talking about something. We need to take the gun away, but it doesn't stop the criminals from per basically uh, victimizing other people. So they want to take the guns away from law abiding citizens who wish to protect themselves from the criminal element and basically let the criminals just have a good old time pouncing on innocent people for criminal purposes. Okay, let me read that part again. A fight ensued where a man in his 20s suffered a knife wound during the fight a gun was fired injuring miss johnson detective chief inspector richard leonard who is the leading investigator said our investigation continues to make progress but we need the assistance of the community <laughs> to find out where what who to find out who was responsible for the horrific attack that has left sasha fighting for her life quote we know there was an organized party taking place in the back garden in other words in the backyard of an address 
in Concert Road, Sasha was one of many, or, excuse me, Sasha was among the, around 30 guests at the party. Shortly before 3 a.m., four black males wearing dark clothing had gained entry into the garden through a side entrance, and in the ensuing melee, a firearm has been discharged, injuring Sasha. The suspects have then fled the garden. I hate this. I need an English version of this. Has fled the backyard, okay? Um, by the way, how did they get a firearm? Did they have to go to the gun show? Uh, did they, uh, basically, uh, had to go to the gun stores? Oh, you mean to tell me they bought it off the black market? No! Oh my god! You mean to tell me if you try to take our guns away here in America, they're gonna do the same thing? Uh, that would be a yes. Our work is ongoing to establish the motive for the attacks, but I want to reiterate that nothing has been brought to our attention that suggests Sasha was targeted. I would urge anyone who can help our investigation to get in touch so we can ensure these dangerous individuals are identified and arrested. Okay. I don't know how they work over there in the UK. I kind of don't care, but uh, I wonder, do they have, uh, do, do they, do they think they're going to have anybody that was actually positively identify these people? Now, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Uh, I would assume if we got the snitches, get stitches culture here in America and a lot of people in the UK or actually a lot of people uh, in Europe who are in these communities love to copy off of the people over here in America. I'm sure that that is also the street rule. Snitches get stitches, but we don't know. Who is Sasha John? I don't care who, the, I don't care. I could care less who she is. We do know who she is, but we don't care. We could care less. By the way, I want to say something before I close, because I'm not going to basically do an uh, expose on this entire thing. We have read this on this chick. I will leave the link in the description box or the pinned comment if you want to read this entire article. But before I go, I want to say something. I have noticed a couple, not a lot, but I know a couple of people who are like, it doesn't matter what she said. It doesn't matter what she did. You know, nobody deserves this. This is why people lose, okay, when you have mercy on your enemies. Do you think, and it's it's always white people. It's always white people. It's never black people saying this stuff, okay? It's always white people, okay? Let me ask you something, white folks, all right? Do you think if this woman saw you choking on a chicken bone or on some kind of food that she would actually help you she will give you the Heimlich maneuver. You think she would do that? No, she will watch you choke until you pass out on the floor. Stop being merciful to people who will never have mercy on you. You can always tell the soldiers from the cucks. And, and, and I'm just tired of it. I'm gonna call y'all out, okay? I am not you, all right? I don't love my enemy. I don't like them and I will not feel sorry for them okay this woman is my enemy and if my enemy gets taken down by her own people then hey she they love it i like it i don't care she's not gonna give no sympathy for me are you serious what's wrong with you anywho but i just wanted to do a video saying yeah we were right all along it was done by black people okay from the black community and of course you know saying we knew this. We didn't even have to have this confirmation, but isn't it great to get it anyway? I know. Anywho, I got some videos I'm going to have uploaded today and uh, stay tuned for another one. So uh, you all sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Coming up real soon, I think we're going to talk about the George Floyd thing that happened last night as well. So this is Tree from treeoflogic.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, come on, please subscribe. Help a sister out, okay? And I will talk to you all, you good folks, later. Taters. Bye.